Hi, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you are in charge of delivering or designing training, chances are you're doing a lot of it virtually. And of course, one of the challenges with virtual uh, online training is keeping the interest of your learners. But the good news is there are a lot of tools out there that can help with that. In fact, the Microsoft Whiteboard is something that is built right into Microsoft Teams. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some really cool features and tips that you can use to make your training even better. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are in Teams and we're gonna go open the Whiteboard. To do that, I'm going to go to Share Content and then I'm just gonna click on Microsoft Whiteboard. So what is the whiteboard? Well, if you think about when you are teaching a live instructor-led course, basically this is a digital version of the whiteboard that you might use in class. So I know as a as a trainer, if you're a trainer, you know, you love we like to write things on whiteboards. Um, we also like to use flip charts. So basically this is a digital version of the whiteboard or flip chart that you would use in class. So you can certainly use it um, like you normally would. You know, if I'm writing things, you've got these uh, you've got these different markers that you can use to write on the whiteboard, just like you would in a classroom. The, the nice thing, of course, is that you don't have that horrible smell from the dry erase. So I can, you know, I can write here. Now I will tell you, I'm right now. I'm using a mouse. So if I'm, you know, if I'm trying to write objective, it's pretty terrible. So for me, if you, you know, unless you have a touch screen or some kind of touch pen, um, I'm probably going to, if I'm going to um, take some notes on the whiteboard, I'm going to stick with the text. But of course, you can use you can use any of these. So um, you know, let's say. If I'm starting my class and I say, okay, everybody, what are you wanting to get out of the class today? So what, uh, let's see, what, what do you want to learn? I'll just say, okay. So that might be something we do that, you know, right in a, in a regular training class, a lot of times we'll start out uh, the session with asking the class, what do you want to learn? And then we will write on the whiteboard or we'll write on a flip chart whatever their responses are okay um, so you can do that you can use, again you can go back to the text tool and you can say you know meet people learn customer service you know whatever they tell you you can you can make your notes um, you could also do this so you can do it like freestyle text like that you could also use this note functionality and you can have different color colors for your notes. I'll just pick that and then I add that to the whiteboard. And by the way, I can move I can move these objects around. Um, but again, so I could, you know, I could put on here, what do you what do you want to learn? And I could put the same thing. So neat people that's not really learning but that's okay learn customer service you know whatever whatever the case may be uh, so that's one way you could you might use the whiteboard um, maybe you could also use it for a parking lot so let's you know a lot of times in a training class we like to have a parking lot so you could do that here too you know, parking lot. And then as they ask questions, you can go back to the whiteboard. Because what's cool is, so notice if I stop, I can stop presenting and I can go back to my regular meeting. But I can, when I go back to the whiteboard, all my stuff is still there. So I can add to the parking lot as I go. Um, where do I go for help? Maybe someone asked that and you're like, well, we're going to get to that later. So, you know, all the kind of, all the things you do in a regular class, um, you could use the whiteboard for in 
16. So that's pretty nice. Um, oh, I did want to show you also, you have a lot of space too within the whiteboard. So I can, right now I'm scrolling on my mouse. I'm scrolling out, I'm scrolling in. I can move it around. So as you, you know, as you need space, as you use space and you need more, you can certainly uh, find more. All right, now, what I showed you is me as the facilitator typing everything. But one thing, the biggest value to me with the whiteboard is not just showing what you're doing, but to let your participants. So you can, um, I mean, you can have this turned off. You see how I have other participants can edit? You can have it turned off if you just want to be the one who can annotate. But really, to get the bang for your buck, so to speak, I would leave this on. Because now what I can do is when I say, what do you want to learn? Then I'll say to my participants, okay, everybody, go ahead, use the text, and type what you want. Or, or I can tell them to type over here on the note. And so now I can really have true collaboration because everybody can write here on the same time. Now, of course, that's going to depend on the class. Like if you have if you have a hundred people, then maybe I, I could understand why maybe you wouldn't want to let everybody edit. But you know, in a typical training class, um, where you you know you you want people to um, mark it up, you can do that. So. Uh, very good stuff here. And then what's also nice, you know, normally if I've got flip charts, because this is what we do, right, in a training class, you'll have a parking lot or you'll have various flip charts that you've used throughout the day for activities. And sometimes you want to save them. So you end up, you might have all these flip charts that you got to collect up or you got to take pictures of if you want to keep the information. You know, sometimes we, we want to keep information for the next day or for later, right? Well, here's what's really cool about this whiteboard. I can very easily export it. So I go into settings, I click on export image now, and look, it downloads it. It defaults to my downloads, and I can just double click that, and you can see I've got this saved. So this is something I can keep, I can share, Whatever I want to do, there it is. So that's pretty nice. But back to the whiteboard. Now, this is very basic. It will do in a pinch, okay? But you're probably not necessarily blown away with all of this stuff. I mean, this is pretty basic. So what I want to also show you is the functionality of the whiteboard app that it that can be integrated with Teams. So you'll notice I have this open in app option. I'm going to do that. And you'll see I can either go out and get the app or if I already have it, I can open it. Well, I already have it. So if you don't have it, go out and go you want to go get it cuz it, it's free and it's really cool. So I'm going to go here and open the app. So you can see it's very similar initially. You know, I, can, I have the space where I can move around, but actually this whiteboard that's in the app has a whole bunch more functionality. Like you can see if I just click here, look at all these, I have all these different options. Now, I am not going to go into all of the things you can do in this whiteboard. I wanna show you some features that are specific to engaging your learners with your training class okay so i definitely encourage you to explore this whiteboard because there like i said there's a lot of cool stuff um but for the purposes of this i really just want to show you a couple things that you can use and these are in this plus so you see this this insert menu this is what i want to show you in here you have all kinds of really cool stuff and i'm going to just show you a couple so first of all the note grid look at that so remember before i had to add individual notes well with the note grid it gives me three right off the bat 
I can add easily, you know, and then I can do things like maybe I want to organize a team one and maybe this is for team two and maybe this is for a team three so you see how maybe if I have some kind of activity I could use this note grid to uh, organize teams or whatever whatever I want to do and then they could annotate you know then again you know I'm making making sure that I have them uh, I've given my my learners the ability to annotate to you know add text or whatever they're gonna do um, you can use this note grid okay so that's one thing I'm gonna zoom out and get more room and here's another thing list look at this cool thing so this is like what I was showing you earlier where I could do you know what and I, I can edit so it just says list but if I click in here and I can say uh, look you know what what do you want to learn right so I could do that at the beginning and again I can let them go in um, safety procedures you know whatever um, maybe someone else types customer service so again you're letting them fill this out and you've got a list that you can uh, you you'll, you'll have and then I love this likes so people can go in and maybe other people are like yeah I want to learn about safety procedures too look at this they can hit like and then you can count up the likes so you can use this for, I mean, I'm showing you one way you can use this. Obviously, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with the list. So, and in fact, by the way, you can like, they can like the notes too. So, so if you're doing some kind of vote here, they can like. I like what Team 1 did, you know. Very cool. I mean, just a simple little thing, but it's really fun. Um, so you've got list, you've got follow-ups list. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, PowerPoint. Now, one of the frustrating things to me right now with Teams is that, so it, you know, I use different meeting software. So uh, like WebEx, for example. In WebEx, if I have a PowerPoint presentation, I can let my uh, learners annotate a slide. I can let my learners mark up a slide. Teams, I can't do that, at least not yet. But I did find a workaround with this whiteboard. So let's say, for example, I have a slide that has something I want to have them annotate. Because what's nice, you know, of course, with uh, PowerPoint, what's nice is I can I can have some nice graphics. Okay, so here you go, and I'm going to zoom in. So this is just a silly example, but what is your favorite? And I've got four pets listed so I can say okay class which one is your favorite and then I can have them you know maybe they use the marker here and I you know oh I like dog I like dragon and you can or if they want you maybe you put an option where they write it in but but anyway you get the point so I can build this in PowerPoint ahead of time and then I can bring it into my whiteboard it's a little convoluted I mean I'd rather just be able to do it directly within the PowerPoint if I'm doing it a training but it is you know it is an option so that's cool okay okay one more thing that I want to show you and this is my favorite okay I need room so I'm moving this stuff over I'm dragging now check this out if I hit the plus and I go to template I love this I'm not gonna go through every one of them but I want to just show you what kinds of cool things this does so you can see look at all these different things problem solving weekly planner empathy map i mean and i think they keep they're going to keep adding to it but um let's let's do brainstorming right if i click on that look at that boom it puts all this stuff in here for me so if I'm doing, maybe I want to do some kind of brainstorm with my class. I want to say, okay, everybody, um, let's, what do you think are the top ways to uh, convert your customer into a sale? You know, maybe that's your activity. So you can, you, can, you can go in, you can fill out whatever you want to fill out here. You don't have to use it all. Um, and then you've got your ideas, and that's where you can have your class 
fill in. Okay? So, but it's it's all I like this because it puts all instead of you having to individually create lists and this and that, it's all there. So let's do another one. I'm just gonna do one more real quick because I just think these are really cool. This is a I think this one is really cool. Okay, so this is for anybody out there who is in charge of creating training maybe you're an instructional designer or you're a uh, or you're you're a trainer you do both you know you you have to create training this is pretty cool this persona builder look at this so this is something now this i'd actually use um outside of the training class so this is something i'd use as part of an an audience analysis or a learner analysis but check it out. If you're working on a project, and let's say you're going to create some customer service training, you might you might want to think about okay, who, what type of person is going to take this training? And you can come in and you can use this persona builder to collaborate with your team or brainstorm with your team on things like demographics and. What are the goals of this audience and what are their habits and what are their pain points? But you know, you don't have to use these. You can, you can of course change the heading. You can just, you know, click the click in there and you can replace that with whatever you want to replace it with and have this kind of cool thing. And again, just like, just like with the other whiteboards, you know, you could save it. You could go here and you can export and you can do PNG or SVG. So that is pretty cool. So I would very much, if you had, you know, once you start playing around with this, you should look at these templates and see what might be um, something that you could use for one of your training activities. All right, well, I hope you got some good tips on how to use the Microsoft Whiteboard within Teams to make your training even better, more interactive. You saw there's a whole lot of cool functionality. And if you like to learn about, if you like to learn these types of tips and tricks for training, whether you are delivering training or you are designing training, um, I will have new tips and tricks to show you all the time. So make sure to subscribe and also, Leave any comments um, of other things you'd like to see in the future.